Hey guys, this is the quick tutorial for relighting with a position pass and a normal pass using the Pixel Cloud plugin. To get started, I've already rendered my passes out of my 3D program Maya, and I've imported my passes into After Effects, including a background layer, which I will use for compositing later. To get started, I need to make sure that I'm interpreting my footage correctly. So I'll right-click my position pass in the project panel, go Interpret Footage, Main, and under the Color Management tab, Enable Preserve RGB. And then I'll do the same thing for my normal pass, interpret footage, main, preserve RGB. And make sure that I'm working in a 32 bits per channel project. So I'll alt click here until it says 32 bits per channel. And I'll go ahead and drag that background layer into a new composition and rename that composition main. And I'll also drag my passes into that new composition. And for all the layers, I'm going to go ahead and switch off the visibility for now. And I'll right click and create a new solid, which I will name Pixel Cloud, and make sure that it's comp size and the color is black. And I'll go ahead and apply the Pixel Cloud effect by going to Effect, Blurry Pixel, Pixel Cloud. Okay, and then after doing that, I'm going to go ahead and create a new camera here and rename that shot cam. Make sure that it's a two node camera and then apply the 35 millimeter preset for now. Go OK. And then hit P uh, to bring down the position values. And then I've also recorded some uh, XYZ coordinates from my 3D program. And for X, I've got 58.562. For Y, I recorded 46.732, but because the Y and Z axes are flipped in After Effects, it is actually negative 46.732. Uh, for Z, I've got 5.6 or negative 5.652, but in After Effects, that's positive 5.652. Then I'm going to hit A for the point of interest. And I've also recorded that from my 3D program. For X, I've got negative 1.95. For Y, I've got 5.74, but in After Effects, that's negative 5.74. For Z, I've got 1.349, but in After Effects, that is negative 1.349. And then I'll double click my shot cam to bring up the camera settings and make sure that the focal length is as recorded 22 millimeters from my 3D program. And after I've got that set, I'll duplicate the camera by hitting Control D on the keyboard or Command D on a Mac and rename that layer Ref Cam. Uh, drag that to the bottom of the stack. Go back to my Pixel Cloud layer and in the Pixel Cloud effect panel, uh, set my source position and pass layers. For source layer, I'll choose my source. For position pass, I'll choose position. For the normal pass, I'll choose normal. And I can start seeing the Pixel Cloud in the composition window, but it's actually still flipped around because of that Y and Z axes issue from my 3D program. Uh, to fit correct that, I'll twirl down the position pass adjustment and then enable invert Y and invert Z. And I'll need, also need to do the same thing for the normal pass. So under the normal pass adjustment, uh, enable invert Y and invert Z as well. And you now you can see uh, a correct representation of the uh, Pixel Cloud in the composition window. Okay, so now that looks correct, um, I also need to make sure that we have a reference camera set. So under the uh, link ca reference camera button here, I'm going to go ahead and cl click that button. The dialog will pop up. I'll need to choose ref cam and go OK. So now when I move the camera around or the shot cam around, uh, it should be represented correctly in 3D space. OK, so now that we have a pixel cloud set up, we can go ahead and, and get started relighting our pixel cloud. So I'll go to our uh, timeline here and create a new light and make sure it's a point light. Uh, I'll change the intensity to about 100. Um, make sure that fall off set to none and cast shadows is disabled. 
since the uh, the light is in a strange position here I need to get it placed in the uh, correct area a good way of getting a coordinate for placing your light is to go into the uh, pixel cloud effect panel change the render mode to uh, 32 bits per channel uh, 2d position and then hover the uh, the mouse cursor over the pixel cloud there and then read off from the info panel in the upper right uh, what the RGB values are record those down and use those RGB values as the XYZ coordinate for your light in this case at around uh, the exact center of uh, 320 by 240 I should get uh, RGB values of 20.968 and negative 21.2 for green and 1.36 for blue I'll record those down and switch the render mode back to none and then for light enter those values as the XYZ coordinates so um, as I said before for X should be 20.968 for Y I should get a 21.2 and for Z get a 1.36 the light should show up in your composition window and we can go ahead and move that around to relight our pixel cloud. What I want to do is go ahead and enter these following values to get that set correctly. Um, I want it placed uh, up and towards the camera so I'll put in 44 for X and for Y I'll put in negative 44 and for Z just 0 and I'll add any uh, secondary lights so in this case I'll duplicate that light and change it back to a ambient light I'll make the intensity of the ambient light to be about uh, 40 percent and then I'll change the intensity of the uh, that previous light to about 60 percent um, move it around I might change the colors of the uh, ambient light to sort of a dull red color maybe change the intensity to 20 and make the uh, the point light uh, to back to a hundred and uh, while I'm doing that I can go ahead and turn the background layer back on and then try to sort of uh, match the color so that it fits in our background correctly it looks looking okay right now I'm um, not trying to be perfect for it I just need to make this uh, demonstration work for you um, to get rid of some of the aliasing there I'm gonna go ahead and change the uh, render mode to 2D relight and that should uh, match up perfectly with our source image so uh, once I've got that done uh, I'll go ahead and, and try to put in a, uh, a drop shadow in the back there so I'll just do that with a blank solid here and mask it out so that I can fake uh, sort of a, a cast shadow look behind and feather out that that mask so once I've got my mask in there I'll feather it out uh, to about 24 and bring the opacity down to say about 50 no 85 percent all right um, and then I also will put a, uh, a light wrap around my pixel cloud so that it sets in correctly uh, I'll go ahead and apply a, uh, a matte choker and change the uh, geometric softness 1 to 0 and I'll change the uh, choke 1 to about 50 and the uh, geometric softness 2 to about 5 alright and then I'll go change the geometric softness one to around two and then add another effect here the set matte effect uh, change the matte take matte from layer and I'll change that to my source layer and then let's see it's looking a little bit better I think that's that's pretty good right there uh, tweak the lighting a little bit more make it a little greener 
Okay. And then if I need to, I can adjust the uh, specularity by going into the pixel cloud effect panel here and change the specular intensity to drop it down to around 0.55 and uh, make the shininess to say around 35. So once I've got that set up, um, we are good to go and we should be in 2D relight mode. We are able to go ahead and render this out. Okay, so uh, that's about uh, the uh, the workflow. As you can see, there's a uh, there's our image composited in my source. I can change the lighting, animate it, um, do whatever I need to do to make sure that this fits into our scene correctly. Um, and so here's the difference. Um, this is our pixel cloud version, and this is the version without pixel cloud. And this is our pixel cloud.